Hello, this is Vern, and if you fear and anxiety of getting rejected by a guy are limiting your life's choices and keeping you single, but you're not sure how to stop feeling this way, in today's video, I'm gonna share seven ways to crush your fear of rejection and get the guy you want once and for all. Hello, this is Vern. Welcome to another edition of VernMendez.com. If this is your first time here and you'd like to learn how you can attract your ideal life partner, without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, or silly techniques, make sure to hit the subscribe button right now so you can be notified of new episodes as they come out. The Latin root of the word rejection is reisere, which really means to throw back. So imagine, if you will, that you have a beautiful, one-of-a-kind, pristine diamond, and you give this diamond to someone you love. And imagine that this person in maybe a fit of desperation or confusion or anxiety or maybe clarity about something in their life throws back the diamond at you. I have a few questions for you. Does the diamond lose its value because the person threw it back at you? Diamonds are pretty rough and they won't break if somebody throws it back at you. So the diamond is still as worthy as when you gave it to this person. Is the diamond less beautiful because this person gave it back to you? Answer is no. Is the diamond less impressive because this person threw it back at you? The answer is no. The challenge is that in your life right now, you, somebody's throwing back at you that I can't be with you in a moment and you're choosing subconsciously to believe that you are less valuable as a result of this person not wanting the beautiful diamond that you are. So as a first step, if you want to really transcend this feeling of anxiety and fear that comes from fearing the rejection, which means you're not putting yourself out there, you're taking less chances, you're staying inside your house watching Netflix, you're talking to your girlfriends about how impossible the dating scene is and using that as an excuse not to date. If that's you but you're feeling frustrated and angry and maybe sometimes sad about the whole situation, that if you already use fear, in this case a fear of rejection, to prevent yourself from getting hurt, quote unquote, is that you ask yourself the question, what is the real alternative to the fear, to fearing rejection? What is the real alternative to that? And the real alternative isn't being in your house, getting a foot massage with a hot drink, watching your favorite show. If that were the option, fear of rejection or foot massage with your favorite show, then by all means choose the foot massage with your favorite show. But if the real options that you may not be looking at right now are fear of rejection is one of the fears, but the other fear is, don't you fear not ever finding your soulmate? Don't you fear staying single for the rest of your life even though you really wanna connect with someone? Don't you fear not being seen, heard, self-expressed, witnessed? If the fear of staying single for the next 30, 40 years shakes the core out of you and is more frightening than the fear of rejection, then use this fear to motivate you to start taking action. I'm gonna share with you in this video seven master steps to crush your fear of rejection. Before I do that, I'd love to invite you, if you wanna take the concept of this video further that I can share with you in this next few minutes and understand how you can create a conscious dating strategy so you can attract better men in less time, then go to the first link on the description of this video. You will see a page that looks like this. Enter your name and email and you can start watching my free training right away. The first of my seven steps to crush the fear of rejection and start thriving in your love life is radical faith. Radical faith means that there's a deep-seated belief and knowing inside of you that there is someone out there out of the four billion men on this planet who is a better fit than the guy who you have convinced yourself is the best fit for you and just said, I can't do this with you. Understand that he might not be rejecting you, he might be rejecting the idea of you, he might be rejecting the life stage that you're on, he might be rejecting the fact that he can't offer you what you want even though he thought he could, he might be finding someone that's more aligned with him than, than you are, but that does not make you A, less valuable and that doesn't mean that there isn't someone better for you out there. Faith is utilized when you need it. See, it doesn't take any courage, it doesn't take any intelligence, it doesn't take any faith to think that life will be better when things are going great. When things are not going great, to tap into your deepest sense of knowing that there's something better for you, that someone out there is taking care of your best interest, even though you're not, you can't see it right now, that's what true faith means. Second step is radical spirituality. And radical spirituality means that you understand fundamentally and you employ the concept that life gives you what you need, not what you want. Think about that for a second. 
if life gives you <laughs> if life gives you what you need that means that for some reason there is a lesson that you need to learn right now maybe it's more self love maybe it's more assertiveness maybe it's more expressiveness maybe it's figure out the red flags in people sooner rather than later there's a combination of lessons that you could choose to step into right now but you can't step into if you're focused on why someone didn't want you so if you're someone who considers herself to be spiritual in nature the way you choose that the way you prove that is in actions and what a better action than to understand that if life is offering you this right now and there's a great lesson for you and that you'll be able to thrive not in spite of this but because of this that the sooner you learn that lesson the faster you start thriving number three is radical self-love and radical self-love goes back to the principle of the diamond that i shared with you which is you are not less worthy because someone doesn't want you you are not defined by what a man thinks of you you're not defined by what men think of you you're defined by the greatness of your heart you're defined by your uniqueness and your beauty inside and out so if a specific man in this moment in time can see that value in yourself radical self love means that you choose to fall in love with someone later down the road who sees the greatness in you and who's choosing to play it all out and wants to go the distance with you number 4 is radical courage courage means heart that's where the the root word of courage is c o r core heart expressing your heart radical courage means that instead of wallowing in why does this guy not give me what i need uh in imagining the future that you could have lived with him is start creating the future right now start doing the things that put you in contact with your own expressiveness with your own magic with your own gifts start doing those gifts out into the world start connecting with human beings not just men men women everyone out there and start sharing more of yourself start expressing your uniqueness start putting yourself out there by saying to the world the man that i was with doesn't define me if you don't want him to have power over you you need to start taking action in a way that shows the world and shows you that the courage in your heart is the thing that leads you number 5 is radical alchemy. Radical alchemy is a concept of you can turn shit into gold. That's what life is. I spoke about that in my life this week. Many times in life, life will throw something at you that seems like a horrible thing, but it's a gift in a shitty package. So what you need to do when life shows you a gift in the package that you don't want is to alchemize it. How can you alchemize it? You can write, you can journal, you can create, you can move you can learn lessons you can connect with other people you can choose to find new passions you can choose to learn a new language you can use to do so many different things right now that alchemize this pain you can move you can dance you can exercise do not let this pain destroy you use this pain to move you to action use the anger which is a powerful gift that you have inside use it burn it to fruition into something powerful and something active and something that can help you get more of what you want step number 6 is radical physiology radical physiology means that rejection and fear of rejection are physiologies are the ways that you move the way you show up in the world so take control of your breath take control of your movement take control of your pace take control of your facial expressions you can shift the feeling of fear into a feeling of courage by moving differently you can shift from a feeling of anxiety to a feeling of calmness and stillness by taking control of your breath So as you think about I'm going to put myself out there but I'm feeling so challenged and I'm so afraid and you start to see the worst thing happening instead of trying to change things with your mind choose to move in a radically different way that allows you to tap into to your highest resources that allows your biochemistry to shift in a way where fear is no longer running the show you do not need to be fearless that does not exist for most human beings that are not psychopaths what you do need to do is to have one degree more of courage than fear and if you move differently you can tap into that feeling of courage that feeling of resiliency that feeling of power that feeling of action in a very quick way number 7 is radical action radical action means once you shifted once you're using your physiology differently once you have a new vision for who you are once you're reconnecting to the truth of you and your value that is not defined by why one man or many men think of you then you start taking action you reemerge as a wiser more compassionate more real human you start saying yes to invitations you start saying yes to life yes to events yes to online dating when you start saying yes instead of no with the right mindset 
you can start connecting with people who will remind you again, who will be mirrors to your greatness and not won't let you think about what happened in the past, but will remind you that you have something valuable to offer that no one else can bring about in the exact way you can. Hope this is helpful and useful. If it is, go to the first link on the description if you want to step, step into my free training. Uh, if you enjoy this video, click like or thumbs up. And last but not least, subscribe to my channel. If you feel like you want my hand holding and help to get to the relationship that you want in a fraction of the time, second link in the description will allow you to apply to work with me. Thank you so much for allowing me into your heart, into your home, and as always, I challenge you to live a full and conscious life.